A catastrophic drop in atmospheric ozone levels around the tropics is likely to have contributed to a bottleneck in human population around 60 to 100,000 years ago. An international research team has suggested the ozone loss triggered by the eruption of Mount Toba supervolcano located in present-day Indonesia might solve an evolutionary puzzle that scientists have been debating for decades. Now, I'm sure you've seen some of the headlines in recent days that an ancient volcanic eruption destroyed the ozone layer. Now, this is all coming from a recently published paper, 12th of April, 2021. The Toba supervolcano eruption caused severe tropical stratospheric ozone depletion. And we'll leave you links to this paper below. But just to go over it in layman's terms, um, let's do that. Now, a catastrophic drop in atmospheric ozone levels around the tropics 75,000 years ago caused a bottleneck in the human population. Now, some people have said that the population was reduced to as little as 7,000 to 10,000 people for the whole planet. Now, ozone levels fell by half as a result of the eruption of Toba supervolcano in Sumatra. Experts from Germany's Max Planck Institute for Chemistry found one of the Earth's largest ever explosions in the last several million years, Toba is believed to have erupted some 5,000 square miles of material and triggered a six to 10 year volcanic winter. Lake Toba, a 436 square mile body of water, has formed to fill the cauldron-like hollow caldera left behind by the vast super volcano explosion. Now the cooling from the volcanic winter would have various knock-on effects, including cooler oceans, longer El Nino events, crop failures, and disease. Now these topics we talk about a lot on this channel, so you should be well aware of them. But by blocking out the sun and thus preventing protective ozone formation, ultraviolet radiation would have harmed humans more in the tropics, the team said. According to past studies, the human population is believed to have fallen to some 10,000 to 30,000 individuals in the wake of the Toba eruption. Now, this is the largest eruption potentially in millions of years on Earth, and it happened just 75,000 years ago. Here is the caldera of the Toba super volcanic eruption. Quite spectacular. And here's a great graphic to bring you up to speed on the actual size. If we give Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980, the unit of one, it is the same as the El Chicon, Mexico, 1982 eruption, which gets a one. Krakatoa in 1883 would be 18 times larger. And Tambora in Indonesia in 1815 would be 80 times larger than Mount St. Helens. Now, Toba, supervolcanic eruption, 2,800 times larger than St. Helens. Well, that is amazing. Just to think about. Mind-blowing, even. And the graphic here just does not do it justice. Or maybe it does. But if we look at 20,000 years of temperatures from the Vostok ice cores with the Toba eruption potential period shaded here, you can see time towards the present is towards the right. It's more recent over here on the right side. That shortly after the Toba eruption, we had a two centimeter drop in temperature globally, right down here, causing that bottleneck. Now, why didn't this drop cause a mass extinction? Why didn't this drop cause a mass extinction? This doesn't look very significant, but if you take it from the high to the low, it's a four degree C drop. Same thing happened here, but not a bottleneck. So something unique happened during the Toba eruption that's just not an eruption because there was probably an eruption here and here. But the population didn't bottleneck. What are they missing? Oh, they're missing the known magnetic excursions and the North Atlantic excursion potentially 72,000 years ago. Well, it falls right in line with the same time frame. 72,000 is here. 
but I don't think the dating is correct. And I think that something else triggered the Toba eruption, a rapid change in the magnetic field in Earth, which would do the same thing. It would allow more cosmic radiation, UVA and B, to come into the picture, as they suggest happened during the Toba supervolcanic eruption. Now, can you imagine a supervolcanic eruption triggered by a grand minima or a magnetic excursion simultaneously? So the super eruption itself is going to cause a drop in ozone and the magnetic excursion is going to cause an increase in cosmic radiation, including UVA and B, a double effect. And it is our supposition that this was this additive effect here, which made it different than this drop down, this drop down, or this drop down. The Toba eruption coincided with a magnetic excursion at the same time, adding insult to injury and almost ending the human population. Crop loss, famine, we read about it. The darkening of the skies for a decade. It was actually the most intense dark age ever in hominid history. Now, Cro-Magnon was probably around back then, but the Neanderthal was king, and they were about to go extinct well, during the Lachamp magnetic excursion. So people have lived through multiple events and they've been developing a playbook, which they've been warning us about, time immemorial. I suggest you all read Hamlet's Mill by Von Deschen. It will open your eyes to the fact that humanity for hundreds of thousands of years has known about cosmic catastrophe. They've known about the results and what happens to human populations. The difficulty it is to live during these situations as huge amounts of material get blasted into the atmosphere and change the planet forever. Are you ready? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. The more we wait, the less time there is to prepare for what's coming. The question is not if, it's when. And when it happens, there will not be any time to run out to the store to buy some supplies. It will be over forever. Just like what happened 75,000 years ago when Toba exploded. The human population was completely eliminated. 99% gone in an instant. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And the next supervolcanic eruption is imminent. It might happen tomorrow. It might happen next year or a decade from now, but it will happen. We are in that cosmic space when things go boom. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons. The people that share this video, your heroes, be safe. That's a boom.